BP, a leader in deep water oil drilling efforts, one of the world's seven super major oil and gas companies triggered the worst environmental disaster in history on April 20, 2010. Deepwater Horizon drilling rig built by Hyundai was chartered to BP from March, 2008. It was drilling a deep exploratory well 3,600 meter below sea level, in approximately 1,600 meter of water. The well is situated in the Macon Oak Prospect in Mississippi Canyon Block 252 of the Gulf of Mexico. On Tuesday morning, April 20, 2010, this was its state. Later it was found out that high-pressure methane gas from the well expanded into the drilling riser and rose in the drilling rig, where it ignited and exploded. For 87 agonizing days, millions of gallons oil spewed from the ocean floor as BP tried various methods to cap the blowout. The total estimated volume of leaked and approximated 4.9 million barrels making it the world's largest accidental spill. Once the oil left the well, it spread throughout the water column. While some hovered suspended in the midwater, most of it floats to the surface when it spills into the ocean and forms large slicks. These slicks can wreak havoc on coastal ecosystems and animals. The most basic method of cleanup is to control the spread of the oil using physical barriers. After most of the oil is removed by skimmers, workers use sorbents to mop up the trace amounts left behind. Another option is to speed up the oil's national biodegradation using dispersants. In the case of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, cleanup workers treated the oil with over 1.4 million gallons of various chemical dispersants. The spill was also notable for the volume of Corexit soil dispersant used. In terms of the gallons spilled, this was a disaster on an unprecedented scale. But the direst predictions of dead zones along the Louisiana coast have not materialized. The environmental damage was deep, as of course was the impact on those whose livelihoods depended on the Gulf, but the recovery has also been striking. The Gulf, as everyone says, has indeed proved itself to be a resilient place.